okay welcome back to my channel um, if it's your first time here go ahead and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching so this video started out as a get ready with me but a lot of background noise was going on and I just decided to mute it so let's get into it so I'm gonna prime my eyeshadow my eyeshadow I'm gonna prime my eyes for my eyeshadow and I just primed my face so I'm gonna use this NYX base um, eyeshadow base and just apply that to my eye and blend that in All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and I'm gonna use the um, the shade Butter first for my crease or whatever. I'm not a makeup artist; I just know how to do a thing or two. So don't kill me for not using the right terminology or whatever. So I'm just gonna use that with a nice fluffy brush to just mix that in, make that my little base eyeshadow that's gonna mix everything and blend everything in. And I sound nasty right now because I'm sick. I'm sorry. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my 35B Morphe palette. And I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I don't know what it's called, but that's my second shade that I'm going to be using. And I'm just gonna put that in the corners and like right in the crease to make it like a little darker. Make sure y'all blend it in. Make sure it meshes together. Make sure you blend in everything so it just looks blended evenly and nice. That's one thing I know about eyeshadow and makeup, period. So now I'm gonna go with this dark purple and put that right below that second shadow. So I'm gonna put that in the corners and right below the second shadow. So it kind of gives it like an ombre effect, like darker to light, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the purple. This brush, um, I don't know what it's called. I, don't, I told y'all, I don't know the right terminology for these stuff, I just know from watching, so. I'm sorry if y'all clicked on this video and it's not what y'all need, but hopefully it helps somebody. All right, and now for the cut crease, I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. I use NARS. And I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just shape it. And I'm looking up to see where, um, how far I could put my concealer, basically. So yeah, um, just using that, and then I'm gonna use my sponge to blend that in. All right, so I'm going back in with my purple shadow. Um, when I was doing my cut crease, it kind of took out the, the dark effect a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back in with the purple shadow and then I'm going to do my cut crease and I'm gonna use a lighter pink. All right, 
right, so I'm going to use this shade here. I can't find um, the names for this, the color, the shades in this palette, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you. I guess I changed my mind. I'm gonna use this shade and go in with that shade and just blend that out. Don't mind me, you guys. I made this video a while ago. I think I made it Valentine's Day because this was really supposed to be my Valentine's Day look and I just finished editing it and I'm just not making my voiceover so I'm gonna use it as a spring look it's bright it's pink it's cute so yeah now I'm just gonna go back in with the second shade just to blend it out a little bit and just make everything look blended in and even and you know so yeah you could just blend everything into your liking um, if you want to go back in with the darker shades, if you want to go back in with more lighter shades, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just making it to where I want it, making it to what I want it to look like basically. So it's the same shades, I'm just going back in with the brushes and just blending everything in. All right, and now for the easy part, I'm gonna start off with my foundation. I use my NARS foundation in Macau, and I'm gonna do two pumps on my right cheek, two pumps on my left cheek, and two pumps on my forehead. I got a huge forehead, so yes, I need two pumps. And I'm going to use my MAC um, foundation brush just to kind of blend that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my sponge. I use the Fenty sponge, and I'm just gonna use the rounded part to blend my foundation in. After I blend out my foundation, I'm just going to go back in with my concealer brush and my NARS um, concealer and apply that under my eye, on my forehead, and on my nose. The movie starts at Okay. I'm telling you, so I don't... We could leave at 6 o'clock. It's the city. It's only going to take about 45 minutes to get to 40 seconds. Nah, She gotta come home and do her makeup. She, she, what are you talking about? She come home and do her makeup. She gonna come and do her makeup. He said yes, right? Exactly. No, he said he don't know. So here I am applying my um, concealer, and I'm doing it under my eyes, like I said. And I'm going to go. I'm using the one that comes in the um, in the little round thing, whatever. But she wanna be over here playing around and shit. You could get snatched up. Dirty ass nigga. What? I'm singing a song. <laughs> what?
Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty sponge and I'm going to use the flat side to blend everything out. And yes, I'm jamming to act up because that is my shit. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, I'm just gonna blend everything out, blend everything in, and yeah. Alright, so when my highlight highlighting is done, my concealing is done, I'm going to go in with the shade Espresso in LA Pro Girl Concealers. I'm going to use that to contour. So I'm going to put that on my forehead, cheekbone, and nose. So yeah, everything that you want to sharpen up and get rid of, you just what you're going to contour. And then I'm going to use my brush. I got this brush from Walgreens. I think it's Wet n Wild. Um, I got it from Walgreens. That's what I know because I got this mad long ago. And I'm just going to use that to blend out my contour. And I'll bring that underneath my chin just to blend everything into my neck. You know how it go. All right. And for my nose, clearly the brush is too big. So I go in with a smaller brush. Um, I believe this is the eyeshadow brush that I got from Sephora like a mini travel traveling kit or whatever so I'm just gonna go in with that and blend out my contour on my nose I wanted a sharper um, contour look so I'm just gonna go back in with my concealer and outline where I want my contour um, and then blend that in I could only imagine how I sound right now. Like I know I sound crazy. I'm so sorry guys. I need my nose snatched so I'm just gonna go back in with some more concealer blend that in and making sure my nose look snatched honey Next step is setting my face. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder um, and set everywhere where I use my concealer. So on the, my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, above my lip, and um, right under my contour, my cheeks. So yeah. And then I'm going to set my contour with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, medium to dark, I believe. I'm going to insert the picture. And yeah, just use the same brush to set in with the powder um, everywhere where you contoured.
Okay, then I'm gonna use my brush to just brush away all the excess powder, everything that's not supposed to be there because you're gonna look like a ghost. So you gotta make sure you get everything off. Make sure you got you get all of the powder off of your face. And then I'm going to use my uh, MAC setting spray to just set my face. All right, so my friend got me this Wonder Ombre Ramel, London, whatever, um, a while ago. And I never used it, so I just decided to use it. I'm just going to use it as a waterline um, liner and just put a little bit under there just to make my eye pop, I guess. I was bored. I just wanted to do something extra. So here is my face, my new face. Um yeah i hope you guys like this look it was my valentine's day look but you guys can clearly use it as a um spring look so yeah thanks for watching thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys like this look for my valentine's day soft pink i don't know but it's a valentine's day look because it's pink and pink is cute but yeah i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys learned how to do a little something with your eye and your makeup and yeah thank you guys for watching